Hi, and welcome to Rapid Respiratory Review. Today we're going to talk about BPD, or bronchopulmonary dysplasia. So what's it caused by? It's caused by positive pressure ventilation, endotracheal tube being in too long, and prolonged exposure of differing amounts of FiO2. And it's typically seen in patients with RSV, and it was previously known as chronic lung disease. So what makes you more prone to BPD? If you have a PDA, a patent ductus arteriosus, uh, poor nutrition in utero, family history of asthma, and fluid overload in the first few days of life. So how will it present? You will see radiological changes, which go through four different stages, and these stages were more common before 1989, before the development of surfactant. Now that there's surfactant, it changes how these patients look on x-ray, so we won't talk about those four stages. Um, Clinical presentation, those present with pulmonary hypertension, poor, t poor tolerance to feed, tachypnea, retractions, and nasal flaring. If they're less than two, they may be readmitted with RSV since they're really, like, they have more prone to getting infections since their airways are compromised already and they don't have the ability to exhale or inspire properly. And prevention of BPD would be Go as low on your FiO2 as you can just to maintain the same SATs and use low volume ventilation. The treatment, treat with what caused it. So if you're using high modes of ventilation, decrease that as soon as you can. And in other words, like if you were using a CPAP too, you want to decrease those pressures as fast as you can and get the baby off the ventilator. and if not off the ventilator, change to non-invasive as fast as you can. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.